have here? It's a Hyundai Kona. It's a bit cool, a bit racy, a bit sporty. It's a family-ish car for people who love their driving and who don't want to completely change their car just because they've got children now. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, all the experts say how important it is for parents to treat themselves well in order to help their children be happy. So will the Hyundai Kona make you happy? I'm driving the top of the range Highlander and the first thing you notice is that it's fun to drive. Like, really fun. It's not often that you get into a family SUV and even think about the word fun, so it's noticeable. You can feel the engine revving as you lightly press down on the accelerator and with the size and the shape, I kind of feel like I'm in a rally car. Not that I've ever been in a rally car, but I'm imagining this is what it's like. Kind of. The Kona has a burst of power when I put my foot down and whoops, I've overtaken that annoying driver. Whee! It's not the quietest car, but I don't think it's meant to be. It's got a 1.6 litre turbo engine and you can hear the engine, but I think that contributes to the experience. It's also not the smoothest drive with a fair amount of stops starting because the engine is just raring to go. But you're not buying this car because it's smooth sailing. You're here because it's different and a little bit exciting. So we know it's fun to drive, but how does it fare for a family? Well, on the weekend, I had to take three children to the movies, two six-year-olds and one four-year-old. And so you can see I've got two booster seats in here and a regular child seat and it was squishy. I spent a good five minutes trying to fit these two seats in, trying to do their seat belts up. So I wouldn't really recommend it for a, a family with three children. I would just recommend it for a family with two children or at least one who was out of a car seat altogether. It's got two Isofix points plus three top tether points in the back row, but good luck fitting that third car seat in. And with all the car seats out, I can fit back here perfectly fine, but I'm five foot four and I'm used to curling up. My 185 centimetre husband probably wouldn't be so comfortable back here, but you know, just don't put a grown adult in the back seat. If you've got two children, I think this is a perfectly spacious car. Now, there's no air vent back here and it is a small SUV, so they probably thought they didn't need one. It's a standard thing across the class. The Toyota CHR doesn't have an air vent and neither does the Mazda CX-3. But I'm a big air vent fan and so are my children, so I'd like one back here. The big question for a family though is, is the boot space big enough? And it does fit the Cars Guide pram, which I think is a great thing. The Toyota CHR will also fit the Cars Guide pram, but the Mazda CX-3 doesn't. Now, it also has some underfloor storage, which is very handy. And I mean, it's not huge, it's not going to fit a surfboard, but it does answer the question. There is just enough space for a family. And the car is comfy. I really like the compact feeling, especially after having driven seven seaters for the last few weeks. I really like the cozy feeling of the car. I still have enough leg space, still have enough room around here, so it does the job. It just makes it feel more like it's my car, less like it's the kid's car. There are two cup holders in the front, two in the back, plus a bottle holder in each door. There's a spot to chuck your phone, and that will also charge it if you're an Android user. Plus there's a space for your sunnies, but there's no spot to throw your keys, which is a bit of a bummer. I've been checking my keys in the cup holder all week, which kind of renders them a bit useless. But there is a standard size storage bin in the center and a standard size glove box. Now the interiors are good. I wouldn't say they were flash. It's not a luxury car, but they're fun and they go with the exterior of the car. If you game, you can actually get this stitching in fluoro yellow, which kind of looks a bit like night vision. <laughs> uh, I like it, but it's not, you know, amazing. Otherwise, it's all fairly standard looking, even though this is a top of the range Highlander. 
It has leather mix seats, which are also heated in the front row. And the steering wheel is also leather too, so it feels really good underhand. The Kona has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which means you just plug your phone in and you instantly know how to use it because the icons come up and they look exactly like they do on your phone. Safety wise, it's got six airbags covering the front and sides of the car, extending to the back row. And it's also got that brilliant technology, auto emergency braking, which actually stops the car if it feels like you're going to hit the car in front of you. Now, I haven't personally needed that, but somebody else did the other day when they ran at the back of me. And the design is, dare I say, cool. Now, you can get it in one color because I don't know how I feel about the blue, but in all charcoal, it's sleek. It's definitely not a family looking SUV. Now the big bonus of a small SUV is that it's easy to park. It's easy to turn. It's got a really small turning circle of only 10.6. I mean, it's got reverse parking cameras, which do help. But when you've just come out of weeks of driving like large family seven seaters, you really notice the difference when you get into a small SUV. Plus there's no issue with the rear vision. I have full visibility in this car, unlike some other small SUVs. So it has a really cool heads up display, which means that I can see the speed in the windscreen. I don't even have to look down with my eye line, which is pretty fab. The Hyundai Kona is a pretty great family car. It ticks all the safety boxes, it just fits the kids, and it also has enough boot space. So it does work for a family, but it also works for that side of you who likes things a little bit racy, who really likes to drive, and who isn't willing to chuck in the towel just yet. I give it seven and a half stars out of 10. My children gave it seven and a half My Little Ponies out of 10. That's because it's the movie we went to see on the weekend, and they were just glad their friend finally fit in the car.